All animals, be they fish, birds or four-legged, need somewhere to live, love and breed. And sadly, in our marine environment, we have not taken this into account. The marine environment globally is in fairly rapid decline. 85% of our marine species are found only in southern Australia. We probably have some of the most intact marine ecosystems left anywhere in the world. And the South Australian government, in its wisdom, and to my joy I might add, is starting to rectify this tragic situation. And they are planning all these marine sanctuary zones. The marine parks are about providing levels of protection so that parts of those habitats are not impacted by uh, human-related activities. Understanding these ecosystems, habitats, is what drives the marine parks. And research drives the understanding of that. We have an amazing opportunity to protect the best of what's left. And we owe that to future generations and to the marine environment. My wife and I run a small business, Bed Bay Ocean Eco Experience. We take people out to swim with dolphins and sea lions. It is just an amazing thing to be in the water, to have sea lions that just want to be with you. They get as much of a buzz out of swimming with people as people get out of swimming with them. I remember as a kid we'd often go out in the boat at the Murray Mouth and there were dolphins that lived inside the Kurong Lagoon there. And they'd swim under the front of the boat and they'd keep up with us with one flick of the tail. They're an incredible animal and those kinds of experiences uh, and memories stick with you forever. As far as the ecotourism goes, I think the advent of the marine parks gives a lot of people a reason to come and you know in, into sanctuary zones to have a go where, they, where they've got the space to enjoy what's around without having to worry about upsetting, say, fishermen that are in the area. It all works pretty well for everyone in the end. Uh, what we're seeking to is get a balance between allowing sustainable economic activities to still take place, but to also protect the high conservation areas. Marine parks will bring tourists, and as you know, tourists bring money. I would like to see people enjoying themselves in the marine parks, rich and alive and vibrant. We believe there will be a significant uh, new opportunity in the regional economies through tourism. The marine parks actually generate whole new industry sectors. I think it would be amazing if the kids of tomorrow can experience what we've seen today. That's one of the great things about marine sanctuaries and the government's program. I truly believe that South Australia is going to be a leader in marine conservation. I know in 5, 10, 15 years into the future, people will think, wow, I'm pleased they did that. <laughs>